my background, you are seeing a mango tree having flowers. It means that it's already a season of mangoes this time here in the UEE. So not only that we are planting squash, but we didn't plant this. It has been here and we just inherited the place. And we are enjoying, in fact, the fruits. Maybe in the next two months, we're going to enjoy the fruits of mango. As you are going to observe, mangoes, even there in the Philippines, grew so tall. And even when it grew, it really have its expansion. And it also increased even the size of its branch and it grew it, what made it stood like that what are the factors that made it grow so tall like that perhaps you have a guess and of course it is because of the root system The question is how the roots of a plant transport minerals and water from the roots towards the leaves of a certain plant. Water and dissolved minerals from the soil enters plants through the roots. Many of the cells on the surface of the root contain root hairs. These projections increase the overall surface area, increasing the ability of the root to take up more water. We simply call this process osmosis. By definition, osmosis is the movement of water molecules from an area of high water concentration, meaning weak or dilute solution. Example the soil to an area of low water concentration or strong or concentrated solutions, the plant cells through a partially permeable membrane or what do we call the cell membrane. Once the water enters the root from the soil, it travels to the xylem vessels in the middle of the root. The xylem vessels transport the water up through the stem and into the leaves of the plant. The leaves have a high concentration of dissolved minerals produced from photosynthesis 
and an overall low water concentration. Water is thus transferred from the xylem vessels to the cells in the leaves via osmosis. What do you think is the reason why the squash grew so tall and it increases its length? The vine keeps on growing. The vines also are giving us flowers and most importantly, the vines are giving us fruit. Of course, because of the nutrients which the soil is actually providing, the mechanisms in which there are pollinators and most importantly during the time that we have been preparing this place for planting we ensure that the soil are loosened and the soil have minerals the soil have fertilizers we call it organic fertilizers and we are also taking good care of this plant in particular the squash in particular to have ample supply of water because I remember before when I when I tried folding a certain leaf of the squash let's try you will be able to see here the presence of water the question tonight is how the squash transported the water from its root towards its leaf and towards the leaves. How the squash transported water from the roots towards the leaves and vines. For the squash to provide us huge fruit, the root system of the squash must have been so established to look for the nutrients from the soil and that's what we are looking tonight. We are going to check the root system of the squash. How is it? Right? So I am currently watering it and watering it really is like subduing even like a meter deep of the soil because right now I am seldom watering the plants because of restriction so I am taking the advantage tonight that we are being allowed to to water so what we're going to show you is the rooting system of the squash if you're going to see this one let me focus on this one this is already a runner and you will be able to see here the root is being anchored on the soil although the soil is actually sandy it was not strong fully or it is not well founded here yet with the presence of you know the water it survived <laughs> and this is where um, th that vine is continuously being supported by the supply of food because of this root but originally that vine came here. So this is the base. Mm -hmm. So we are watering it now so that perhaps with our assumption it will give us new leaves again. We're going to inspire it you know, to bloom again and to provide us new leaves and new fruits. Let's watch and see. But I am actually planning to replant, although it is against the law or principle that the same variety or the same plants are planting in one season. But I don't have a choice because I have to grab the time that within the next six or no, within the next three months we are still able to grow some squash. 
but this one is well anchored here it means that the root system here must have been reach, reaching the the compost which we planted down there I mean, we submerged down there the characteristics of the squash really is that when the vine either it is a major vine or a runner reaches the soil and the nodules will eventually produce a root you're going to observe here this root is coming from the nodule here and it sprung up and it spread through like a network and it is like a network that's that took some food from the soil and supports the vine itself and the leaves and then the fruits and that's where we are seeing a very healthy production of squash because of its ability of the root to harvest some some food surprisingly also only first time that I noticed that this that there is also a root here see in the first place, it was not directly attached to the ground, but when it smells the, the nutrients, the law of gravity pushes it, pushes it down and it spread through here. In fact, if you're going to check here, the root system here, yeah, you can see the white color. And one thing that is so remarkable in the squash is the nodules in the root system. According to my study, the nodules are actually holders of nitrogen because similar with other crops squash since it is like a, a pods there are seeds inside is a nitrogen fixing plant it means that they are not taking the nutrients from the soil instead they are bringing nutrients to the soil we call it nitrogen fixing plants mm, i'm learning something tonight Early in September 2020, yeah, I cut one of the major leaves of one of the major branch of this kamachili, this one. And I cut it into pieces and submerge it down, deep down here. And I just fill on top of it a little bit or a thin sheet of soil. And I planted it with the squash. And this is the outcome right now. This is the main squash where we took the 14 kilograms. squash we harvested the other day and you'll be able to see here that the root system networks to so many places to get some food even here similar with this one mm -hmm. This portion is actually a cliff, only very thin soil, I think. And it became an advantage to the, to the squash because really the root system of the squash is fun of traveling and they also need some space. It's like human being that they need some space. So it really moves and because of that, it grew enormously. And it was also expressed on on the fruit itself, it grew enormously.